dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by Perla. as always thank you for your love and support thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and if you haven't done so i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping you accountable so let's go ahead and see what do we have for aquarius this week um you're you're spending a lot of time in solitude or at least you want to let's put it this way aquarius there there is a need where there just seems to be so much noise so much confusion um and again guys these are general readings so apply them wherever they're applying a lot this can be your love this can be your finances this can be um your career like what is my next step maybe you are having some unsatisfied on un, um, you're like unsatisfied when it comes to an area of your life and you you've tried to see things from different point of view you've tried to um rekindle a certain passion or something for something but it's just it seems like the the the, the harder you try to stay within a situation the more dissatisfied you're with it and you're you're wanting to get back to that space within yourself where you were enjoying something where something was enjoyable when something was um satisfying when something felt good now whether that was a relationship or whatever it is but you're not sure how to go about it does that mean that you walk away does that mean that you stay do you talk do you try? What do you change? What do you tweak? And that's kind of like what's replaying in your mind. Is it even possible to regain or rekindle the passion within this, this situation? So this is where that, that eagerness, let's put it this way, for solitude is coming in. Maybe needing to take a couple of days or a week off from work. Or maybe needing to get away by yourself for, for a couple of days. Um, because there's a sense like of that time with yourself, if you use it wisely, will give you the clarity that is already within you, right? A lot of the times we don't see the clarity or we don't see what we're supposed to do or what step we're supposed to take because we're over analyzing or overthinking something and we're, we don't give our mind a break to come up with a solution instead we're bombarding it with questions and with what if scenarios right so this week for you guys what is really going to help you is going into that space where you're by yourself now if you can't physically get away you have kids or whatever it is or at work and you really can't take time off from work or whatever it is then needing to find at least you know anywhere between like 30 minutes to an hour each day to just sit and even if it's just focusing on your breathing so that you can learn or remember what the sensations in your body mean to allow yourself to calm down enough to to get the clarity on how to move forward because you're very this dissatisfaction within a situation it's it's really bringing you down and it's starting to bleed into or affect other areas of your life even if even as hard let's put it this way i know that you don't want to but it's like it's almost unavoidable um because it's taking a toll on you and when anything is taking so much of a toll on us that we're thinking about it 24 7 then everything else that we do we're not putting a hundred percent in because part of that a hundred percent that we're trying to put into what we're actively doing is being interrupted by what we're obsessively thinking about so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love oracle so what is the love energy for aquarius this week the phoenix which i like 
because it talks about new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change of mind. So when you allow yourself the time and the space to um, really ground yourself and really allow clarity to come to you, you're going to see what the next step is for you. So it's like, I can't come and tell you what to do, right? Because I, I, I can tell you what I see. I can tell you what I sense. But at the end of the day, you have to make the best choice and the best decision that is in alignment with you and what it is that you can live with, right? Because I can sit here and say, okay, if this is in regards to love, just freaking walk away. Okay, we're not emotionally developed the same way. Right? We're not mentally developed the same way. We're not physically developed the same way. We're not spiritually developed the same way. So the way that I handle a romantic situation with walking away is not the same way that you would handle it. So I can tell you what I've done. I can tell you what my experience has been, but I can't tell you to do that because it's most likely not in alignment with you. Right. The same thing, like when it comes to a job, well, just leave it and get a new one or just start applying to a new job. Well, maybe you can't disconnect to things that quickly. Right. So what I'm trying to say is instead of trying to search outside of yourself for answers, connect, <clears throat> connect to that space within yourself to allow yourself because you're you're almost kind of like it feels like this disconnect within yourself and like your your thoughts and like your spirit like as much as your spirit is trying to let you know to go in a certain direction you're you're not listening because of the overthinking and the over analyzing and sometimes something as simple as focusing on your counts like how you know the seconds in the hold the breathing out the hold the breathing in again um even if you don't set an intention just focusing on your breath then it kind of quiets the mind enough to then allow the solution or the clarity of what to do to come in. So there's a big need for the quiet, quieting of the mind. So let's go ahead and let's pull out some tarot for you guys. Is there anything else that Aquarius needs to know? So we have the Emperor in the reverse. Another card flipped over. <clears throat> So we have, it's kind of interesting. We have the emperor in the reverse. We have the two of pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the queen of swords. Um, you're undecided about making a decision when it comes to the situation. And until you don't make a decision um, about making a decision. <laughs> so funny. So you, you, you're avoiding this even though you're like dissatisfied with it but it's like until you don't make a decision then you don't know what you're fighting for and that decision is not going to come until you you sit with yourself until you allow yourself that space to see things clearly so let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card just to close off your reading i don't need that many cards but i just need one card for aquarius Number 35, the lover and the beloved. So when you talk about a lover and the beloved, right? We're talking about the person that loves and the person that's being loved. So regardless of whatever the situation is for you, whether it's romantically, whether it's at work or whatever, are you the lover and a beloved, beloved at the same time? Let's put it up. Okay. Rephrase that part. Okay. Are you the lover or are you the beloved? Or are you both? Or are both of you both? Whether it's a person or whatever, work, whatever it is. Meaning, are you receiving what it is that you are giving? Or are you just giving or are you just receiving? Because there's something here that is not adding up. There's something here where there is no equal give and take. Maybe you're overdoing it at work. Maybe you're doing all these extra hours. You're doing all these extra things, but your paycheck is not reflecting it. Maybe you're the one constantly giving in a relationship. You're the one constantly trying to sparkle things up or your significant other is just sitting there like. Or vice versa. So 
whatever has become dissatisfying in your life is there an equal give and take and when you're honest with yourself about it then you already know what the answer is and you get to choose what to do that is all guys sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all bye bye